Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I want to show you an interesting video. We've all seen those low level town halls get up to Champions League. Now I'm almost at Champions League now, so I'm starting to be attacked by people that are above 3200 trophies. Here's one. It's a defense from one of those low level town halls. Turns out he's just dropping trophies on me because he's one of my subscribers. So what's up, man? Thanks for the trophies. You didn't really have to do that. There was a lot of trophies for you, and it's not a big deal for me, but I do appreciate it. So I checked out his profile, did see he is a Town Hall 7, which is crazy, but we see this all the time now. A lot of people do this because there's so many free Town Halls out there. You'll see here when you look at his uh, stats, he's got almost the same amount of wins as he has town halls taken out. So almost every time he wins a raid, it's because he's taken out the town hall. For example, sniping the town hall. So here's a replay that he showed. This is this is what I really want to show you guys. This is the defense he showed when he visited my clan. Nothing special here, you know, you know he's going to get 3 star. He's a town hall 7 in Champions League. But what is special? The guy attacking him is also a low level town hall. This is a town hall 8 attacking a town hall 7 in Champions League. The odds of it are just so they gotta be low. I mean even though this is common to see low level town halls in Champions League they don't normally attack each other you know as soon as you log off whatever town hall level you are as soon as you log off you're gonna get attacked and you're probably gonna get a shield because the person's probably gonna hit you pretty hard. In this case, they met each other. This guy KC, who is the Town Hall 8, met this guy Yu, who is the Town Hall 7, above champion. It's crazy. I don't know what to think about it. I mean, let, let me know in the comments what you guys think about low-level Town Halls getting up this high. Does it impress you anymore? I mean, I know it impressed us all at a certain point. But now I hear a lot of people say, well, you know, it's so common. It's so, it's normal now because you can snipe town halls and even though there is you know a lot of work involved in doing it some people think it doesn't involve skill I do think it involves skill I mean there's a lot to be said about sitting online and looking for those outside town halls however I understand both sides of the story this however is just crazy this goes to show like two low-level town halls attacking each other in Champions League just goes to show how prevalent it is that anyone can do this and a lot of people do do it so I just wanted to show you guys this the craziest thing I've seen in a little while so there you there you are he loses 33 trophies he gave me 36 trophies so imagine how hard it is for him this guy you to gain trophies every day when you know he's losing huge amounts like this every time on defense and he told me he can't always find town halls to snipe anyway and even when he does, they're not that many trophies. They're they're for a couple trophies. So, you know, mad respect to him for having all that patience, man. So thanks for watching, guys. So as I said, let me know in the comments below what you think about Town Hall 7s and Town Hall 8s and even lower Town Halls. What you think about them trophy pushing and getting up to Champions League. I think it's a waste of time. I think people should be farming their bases to max, but that's just me. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop me a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time on Beaker's Lab. Peace.